Hey guys, and welcome back to the Spelunky Daily Challenge. So let's get right into it here. So the last few days have very poor runs on the challenges. Much, like, I think my worst runs in the last few days have all been daily challenge runs. It's been ridiculous. But, you know, that's a lot of nar large numbers, man. That's how random number generation works. You're going to take a random set, then you're not going to get, you know, like an even spread. You're going to get streaks. If you roll a six-sided die a bunch of times in a row, it's really unlikely that you're not going to see the same number in a row a bunch of times. That's just how it works out. But that doesn't mean that my average has gone down. My average Splunky run is still fine. But I had a lot of great runs in the beginning and a lot of terrible runs to balance it out now. And eventually, we're going to get off of this losing streak. So let me tell you guys a story about how my warm-up run went. I started going, I was like, yeah, I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine, everything's alright here. And then I threw a rock to try to kill a spider, and it like ricocheted in this absurd way and flew into a shop that I hadn't even seen yet. Like, the shop had never been on the screen. And hit the shopkeeper in the face, and he was furious. But I, I like, threw some bombs in there, he fell out, I picked up his freeze ray and killed him with that. Close quarters. It was, uh, it was intense, I had no bombs before that. And, uh, but, you know... Man fought the shopkeeper basically by accident and uh, and won, so that was exciting. And then uh, then I picked up his shotgun and went on a magical adventure, and I actually ended up ending that run because it was going too long. And I'm actually recording this kind of you know I don't have a ton of time until the daily challenge runs out. And I have some other stuff to do today as well, so I was like I I didn't have time for the the run that was turning into, and I think that's a good sign. You know, because all I do is, the, the warm-up's not to try to win the game, the warm-up's just to make sure that my Spelunky skills are uh, are where they need to be, you know, that I'm not, I'm not accidentally falling onto spikes and shit all the time. Uh, but, you know, there, so much depends on the, the luck of the draw and the run. But so far, so good in this daily challenge as well. Nothing terrifying has happened yet. I'm going to be much more judicious about shopkeepers I kill, I think. That, that's been... Trying to kill shopkeepers on the mines is something that I repeatedly say is real hard and then I repeatedly put myself into situations where I have to do it. And you know, not not without good reason. There have always been really compelling arguments for, uh, for attacking those shopkeepers, but it's still been killing me and it's still... It's a high risk, high reward technique in uh, a format where consistency, I think, is more valued. So I need to need to be a little bit more judicious. I'm not gonna not kill shopkeepers, that's not happening. But, my criteria for what constitutes uh, a shopkeeper who we will murder is going to become a little bit more strict. Like, for example, let's look at this guy. Yeah, no way that guy's dying, but I wouldn't have killed that guy before either. Um, let's use a bomb here, because I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get in from the bottom or not. Can't quite tell from up here. And it's worth a bomb and a rope for a crate. Well, we could have gone from the bottom, but I didn't know that. And would have been disappointing to miss that crate entirely. Might as well just go down this way. Uh, yeah, see if we can see if we can get up from the other side. If not, we can climb back up there and use a rope to kind of reverse what we've done here. Wow, we're, uh, we're in a situation where we kind of have to use a lot of bombs to get back out of here, actually. Hmm... that fall. Oh, that was a little bit scary. Come out here, spider. Thank you. Hang on to our trusty rock, and I do want that pile of gold bullion over here. I'm not, <laughs> I thought briefly about using a bomb there. It's not the way that should happen. I'm gonna rope our way back out of here and come at this from another angle. That was a lot of resources for that one crate. We did get paste out of it, which is nice, but... Not the best. Not, not the greatest trade. Didn't work out for us, but I don't regret any of my decisions. That's just kind of how it goes sometimes. That's a bomb. Uh, we're going to pick up these things. We're going to take the ropes as well. Uh, these ropes are handy. Sometimes you just lose the game if you don't have ropes. It's, uh, it's one of those things. We're not going to take the parachute. But we are going to come down here toward the exit, and we'll use a bomb to access Monty. I don't feel terrible about how this floor went at all. Okay. Oh, don't get hit by that rock. Don't get hit by that rock. Okay, we're fine. I hate when I do that. I put down a bomb and I realize there's a rock right next to it. Because anything could happen. Those rocks can go crazy with all that momentum. Let's go ahead and deposit Monty. And I feel like we're, we're playing smart this time. Anything could happen. Something crazy could happen. But it hasn't yet. And I feel good about that. 
Just a nice, solid, well-considered run. I'm going to look up, make sure there's no spiders up there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I, I was going to go over my criteria for killing a shopkeeper. If they have a jetpack I can't afford, they have to die. That's just the way Spelunky works. If there is a jetpack, you do whatever you can to get it, because that is a game changer, a game winner. And uh, you, you have to know that everybody else is going to have that jetpack as well. Ah, oh, man, this is an irritating place to drop down. We're going to go from the left instead, and then come over there from this angle. Damn it. Choby. No! Oh, oh, man. Okay, let's try... Ah, oh, man. Oh, Joby, look what you got yourself into, man. Oh, this guy might actually be exactly what we need, but I can't actually clear him. Damn it. Yeah, we're going to have to kill him. I was going to use him to, like, jump up there and get Joby. We're going to have to use a rope to get Joby out of there because I'm the worst pet owner in the world. Good thing we bought some ropes earlier. Let's leave him right here so he doesn't get hit by those spikes. And we'll come in here, lure the bat over that way, and then juke him out. Yeah, see you later, fucker. What are you going to do? Drop the chest down there, come back for Joby. There's the bat, still completely incapable of freeing himself from his prison. Oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. Uh, I would love it if that... Yeah, fuck you, scorpion. Kill this grandfather spider in the usual way. Pick up some sweet gold from that. Kill that guy. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about how this run is going. Having a good time. By the way, my, my voice is a little bit sore as well. I spent a long time being awake last night. For me, anyway, I went to bed at like 12.30, which is super late for me. I've been having a strange sleep schedule for me lately, which is a normal sleep schedule for any other human. That was like, not good. Oh no, I didn't know there was another spider up there. Fuck. Everything's collapsing around me. We're fine though. Everything's fine. Joby lived through that. I don't, I don't know how. I don't understand it, but I like it. Uh, this guy, <laughs> just gonna leave him alone. How much is it for the freeze ray? It's like eleven thousand. That's a lot of money for something that I don't like that much. So we're gonna we're gonna leave that guy be. Move on to the next floor with with four health. Four health is not absurdly bad. Um, hmm. <laughs> I want to go over there and get that ruby, but it seems like a trap, doesn't it? Well, we did it. So. Fuck you, I guess. I really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was really, really, really silly. We're gonna get that guy out of here so we don't have to deal with him. Lots of cobras on this seed, Jesus. These things are everywhere. Usually they're a fairly rare enemy. Let's go ahead and grab this little rat we can use to trigger arrow traps and stuff for us. Mm, there's a crate down there for two bombs and a rope to get back out. I don't know about that. It seems like a generally poor deal. Here, rat. I'm gonna need you in a second right here. Oh, well, we'll just use this. Continue onward. It's nice holding a rat because then you're immune to arrow traps. Like, if you get hit by an arrow trap with a rat in your hand, the rat, the arrow will always kill the rat instead of you, which is really handy. And also a little bit counterintuitive, but it works out. Still, though, I'd prefer having a nice rock as a, you know, instrument for destruction. Some bombs and we're just uh, getting out of here basically I don't want to fuck around too much I'd love to get to the jungle again that's something I remember being pretty fun you know back in the old days the, the glory days of the Spelunky let's play yeah there we are okay I thought so I wasn't I couldn't quite remember what floor we were on there but here we are in the jungle that feels good we have not angered shopkeepers yet. That's kind of, that's usually where I want to be. Like, now I don't feel so bad about angering them. In the mines, they're a pain in the ass. In the jungle, they can be a pain in the ass, but the layout is generally less... Oh. Okay, we're not, we're not going that way. That's just... Why would I try that so many times? This is just asking to drop a rock, a rock on my own head and making myself feel like an idiot. We're gonna go this way instead. This is down this little hole that we created with the other orange frog. Kill one of the monkeys. It's weird being on the jungle without a weapon. 
I tend to kill shopkeepers more than this. It feels very strange to me not having like a shotgun or at least a boomerang. Hopefully we'll run into a boomerang soon. That would be like the greatest. Oh man. Not fuck. Okay. Good. Let's get out of there. Uh, one bomb for Joby seems like a good trade to me, so we'll do that. We could go to the worm level. We don't want to go to the worm level, but we could if we wanted to. Just want to check out this area briefly. Here's a nice little pile of gold for us. Kind of a an uneventful jungle floor, but I'm fine with that. We're going to get up to 5 health. And uh, check out this way briefly. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking frogs, man. But I feel like my, my reflexes are, are peaked. I've, I'm ready for anything. I'm so used to fighting so many shopkeepers that just having to deal with ordinary enemies is you know, not nearly as much of a concern for me. I've, I've trained myself. I'm like the, the Olympics people who, uh, who train with weight vests on until they compete. I want to I wanna deal with this because I'd like all that health, but I don't want to deal with this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that, and hopefully what's going to happen is all these bees are going to come out and they're going to run into this tiki trap. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah! I'm the smartest man. Ah, oh, that one didn't work. That one did, though. How many more bees? Here's one. <gasps> how did that... How could I possibly have not landed on that bee's head? This is, I ask you. Jesus Christ. Oh no! How did I not grab onto anything? Uh oh. Okay. Let's just not talk about it. <laughs> it worked out and that's all I care about. There's a gym up there, it's not worth the resources it would take to get up there. Whew! Alright. That was uh that was intense. That was a good way to wake up. Oh man, what was I doing? That was insanity. No, there's an altar right there. Fuck. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Okay, good. So far, so good. And then... Ah, fuck! God damn it, Tiki Trap. I was gonna get a fucking item there. You had to ruin everything. Okay, we, well, we got our boomerang. I want to check out this area. It could be the black market up here, and I would feel real dumb if that was the case. Don't know how high I want to go, though. I don't think we can really reliably get that caveman down here alive to sacrifice on the altar. Man, I can't believe that Tiki Trap killed that that uh, <laughs> piranha plant. That was such a good play. I was so proud of myself. Oh well. Let's just move onward. Hopefully the black market is on this level. I think it kind of has to be. We are on the uh, third level of the jungle. Either that or we missed it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going anywhere near that. <laughs> it's just a bunch of tiki traps and monkeys for like no benefit whatsoever. It's kind of tempting to go in there and buy a bunch of kisses, but I do already have 7 health, so I feel like that's kind of unnecessary at this point. It's really nice having this boomerang. Boomerang's a great, great weapon, man. It's not, it's no shotgun, but if you don't have a shotgun, then it's kind of a shotgun. If that makes any sense. Oh, god damn it. We're, uh... We're going to do a little bit of exploring here. I feel like this black market is going to be a pain in the ass to find. Or I've already missed it. Either way. That sucks. Let's explore one more thing over here. I'm pretty sure we did a pretty good job covering the top area. I'm really interested to hear where the black market is if it's not down here. I probably missed it on an earlier floor. We, we had some floors where it was really difficult to check effectively. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, still no blinking. I must have missed it. Damn. Oh well, that's okay. You know, that's uh, that's not the end of the world. We don't need to go to hell on the daily challenge every time. I, I'm totally happy if we can just get to uh, Olmec and kill him and set a nice high score. You know, it's not necessary to do anything too fancy. And often I think, you know, trying to get to hell gets me killed early because there's so many things you have to make sure happen at the cost of your own life if necessary. Now we get to hold on to our health. This is a whole run, that's unusual. Okay, we're gonna jump over this way. Oh, okay, we're totally fine. Uh, 
murder that man. This boomerang guy freaks me out. We're gonna solid snake around behind him. And again, I'm pretty sure it's impossible for the black market to be on this floor. But not like 100% sure. How the fuck? That frog is the greatest dodger of all time. <laughs> there we go. Alright. And I uh, definitely want to use a bomb to get to that crate. Ah, that's gonna necessitate another bomb to, uh... Oh man, this is a weird situation. We're gonna use a couple of bombs to get down the Joby hole here, because there's also a crate. Oh man, but I... Hmm. <laughs> We're gonna use the rest of our bombs. Uh, no we aren't. No, that would be... Well, shit. Okay. I'm gonna rope out of here. I'm gonna take Joby with us. Doubt we'll be coming back for that boomerang, but you know who knows. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! I can't believe Joby didn't hit that bat. He fucking fell on the branches of the tree. Okay, this is getting crazy, man. This is. I hate this. Okay. This is some of the worst jungle seating I've ever seen in my life. Oh man. <laughs> I hate this so much. We like, we pretty much have to just blow this thing up, right? Like, there's no way around that. Okay. We are almost out of bombs. And that is not a situation I'm comfortable with. Let's go ahead and move on to the ice caves. I mean, being out of bombs on the ice caves is not a big deal. I would love it if we could, like, find a situation that allows us to uh, get some bombs before we go on to the temple though because trying to do the temple with no bombs is a pain in the ass. Also, ice caves with no spike shoes, kind of a pain in the ass because the ice is real slippery. And we have no cape or anything. This is just kind of a barren run, like we have not gotten a lot of things. This is a tough one. I, I, I'm interested to know how other people did on this daily challenge. I'm looking forward to the high scores because I feel like probably gonna be pretty low. This is some crazy shit. I only have this one bomb so I can't really like use it to take out mammoths or anything. I can make this jump, right? Yeah, okay. It's never something you want to hear yourself say in Spelunky though. Oh! I slid. Just leave. Just leave. Wow. That was real lucky. I, the ice... I'm like not used to walking on the ice without spike shoes at all. So I thought I was gonna slide substantially less than uh, than I ended up doing, and then I would be able to like land on that dude's head. It didn't work out that way. Oh man, there's a bunch of gyms over here. In before a million comments, like why didn't you ghost all the gyms? Because I'm not insane. That's the reason. I d this ice situation freaks me the fuck out. Okay, here we go. Fine. Fine. There's Joby. Man, it's so like that red arrow to me, like, doesn't even mean exit. It means shopkeeper to me. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, I, I just, I, my heart every time I approach an exit that I know where it is is always like, oh, here comes the shopkeeper battle. Will we make it? But of course, that's not always the case only when you kill shopkeepers which for me is always but we made it all this way I didn't kill any shopkeepers aren't you guys proud of me it's... It takes a lot of self-control also actually it made it took like no self-control because we didn't see a single fucking good shop at all <laughs> this entire time so it didn't take too much on that front oh man see I want to jump down there and grab that thing and throw it but my concern is that the fucking like sliding on the ice is gonna ruin it we're gonna use two ropes instead to get to this crate because I really can't uh, can't fathom how the ice is could interact with my attempt on that mine. We got some bombs. This is definitely worth two ropes, especially when you have 11 ropes this late in the game. The ropes kind of drop off in useful. To oh come on! What an asshole! I was just trying to get down there and get Joby, and that dude was like, "Oh, I'll just, I'll just kill this dog. You don't have a problem with that, right?" I feel like at this point, it's a good decision to kill that shopkeeper, uh, because we really want his shotgun, and uh, killing shopkeepers this late in the game is not actually a huge deal. So, 
We're gonna do that. There we go. And we got spike shoes as well, that's a big deal. It wasn't the greatest shop in the world, but again, it just like does not matter to kill shopkeepers this late. Ah oh, man, being able to walk on the ice again. Feels good, man. Let's go ahead and move on to the next floor here. And uh, just just having this shotgun in my hands makes me a lot more comfortable with the proceedings here, because now I can actually kill things. Which is uh, something I couldn't really... That fucking Puffin just like did a face dive onto that mine. How did he live in this environment for so long? It's not like an infant Puffin. Oh man, this fucking rock. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're not going to deal with that. Uh, this, that's not like an infant Puffin. And puffin down there. That was uh, at least a, a semi-mature puffin who had to have grown up in an environment covered in mines and somehow did not know not to face dive them. It's crazy. Okay, I don't like this so much. Jump over here, get rid of that, and then oh man, that's not where I wanted that bomb to go. It sucks because I have so few bombs. Oh no. Oh, I can't make that jump now. That's real bad. We gotta do some some clever roping here. I hate this. Whew. That was real scary. Okay, I want to come down enough for this guy to get pissed off. Please, please get pissed off. I would. Oh man, can I make this jump over to this thing? I feel like I can, but it's scary as fuck. I'm gonna do one more rope instead. Oh man. And he's still not mad at me. This is insanity. What do I do? I have to use another bomb to hopefully piss him off. That doesn't do it. Oh, come on, man. What What is it going to take for you to get angry at me? That's all I need. All I need is for him to get angry, and then I can just hide, and he'll kill himself. Fuck me. What a situation to be in. I, I don't want to... No! The rope, I just... The up button didn't work on the rope. Alright, well, that's uh, probably the best way this possibly could have ended. God damn it. Oh well, I, I don't feel bad about that. 88k is a really good score. 290 in the world and this daily challenge is rolling over in a few hours, so that's uh, not a number that's going to change substantially. And, uh, you know, third on my friends list. I don't feel terrible. Wow, Bear Taffy, number three in the world. Not surprising, man. You got almost 800k on a very difficult seed. I almost, I just barely fell short of Michael A.O. Fox there, and uh, Zen actually did fantastically on this one as well. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm so pissed off that that rope didn't grab. Like that's that's uh, probably the worst way I could think of a run ending is just like jumping through a rope to your death. But anyway, you know, controller issues, control issues, kind of the name of the game for the last few runs, I guess. But I don't feel bad about this. We made it to the ice caves. We got a substantially high score. And, uh, you know, I put on a good show, I think. It wasn't, wasn't the greatest. I didn't get to the black market or anything. But hey, it worked out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.